Okay. Okay, it's live na. Let me see. All right, we are live. Na. Okay, hello, Pa. Good evening. <laughs> yes, hi. Good evening, Pa. I'm reading the comments. Yes, hello, Mr. Yeah, Carlo Fuentes. Hello, good evening. I uh, will be waiting in a while for the others, okay, before we start. Yeah, this is our second session from last night. And I'm, yeah, I'm guessing the last one as well. Yay, hello. So now may I ask, your exam is this October 23? Is that correct, Buba? Your exam is this October 23, right? We have Carlo, Nathan, Sheila. Hello. So, yung exam is October 23, if I'm correct. <laughs> hey, nag shout out ako, aka Carlo Fuentes. Hello, so we'll wait in a few minutes lang for the others, okay? Or a few seconds. Good evening. I hope you have eaten your dinner. I have already. So, kailan bang in yung exam? Okay. While waiting, I'll be shouting out and chika muna for a while. Ah, October 23. So, that will be this Sunday. Wow, God bless you all. And are you all ready? The, the thing is, you have to prepare lang everything you need, okay? So, lahat ng papers, face mask, you know, the materials that you're gonna use. Don't buy the last minute kasi, um, you know, it will not give you peace of mind and it can affect when you're about to take na. So... It's this Sunday. I understand. So that's it. Just prepare everything. Yes, magandang gabi. Uh, you, can, you can chat from which place are you. I'm going to call a lot as much as possible. So to those who were not here last night, I'm from Cebu. Nga <laughs> pala. How about the others? So we can shout out. I'll be waiting just for a few more viewers and then we will officially start po, Okay. Yes, hello. <laughs> so, tagasan ba kayo? San ka sa Cebu? I'm in Cebu City. Who's Jessa May? Is it? I, I know a lot of Jessas and some are my best friends. Can you give family name? We have from Lanao del Norte. Shout out kay mom na naglalaba. From Calamba, Laguna, La Union, Dapitan, Leite, Balingasag. Hello, good evening. So I'll do my best. Kazan Province. Okay. So I'll be waiting just for a few more viewers uh, and then we will start. I'm so sorry. Sayang kasi. Okay. So how about the others? Tagasan ba kayo? So Robert is from Batangas. We have James from Bukidnon. Hello. Someone from Tacloban. Negros Oriental. Oriental Mindoro. <laughs> Okay. Hello, good evening. Oh, Binian Laguna, Zamboanga. Okay. Matagal na kitang hinihintay, ma'am. I'm ganon. Oh, yeah, Jessa. Yes, hello. Love. <laughs> Someone is from Manila, Davao, Sorsogon, Quezon Province, Cotabato. Hello, good evening. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Nasaan ba yun? <laughs> okay, from ah, I can't. Okay, so we have from Zamboanga, be called. Hello, good evening. All right, so today's topic will be about uh, just a little bit of grammar. Okay, so finally, we have reached now a lot of viewers now, so I think I can start. So last night, we had a lot of grammar, and then that was too much, no, like nouns, verbs, pronouns, and there were really unfamiliar vocabularies, sakit sa ulo. But now, so not too much grammar. We will focus on uh, word analogy, reading comprehension, and logical analysis, okay? So I asked my friend, she also took um, like, like a civil service at nahirapan siya sa word analogy. So... Yeah, I, I included a couple of items from that. We discussed word analogy a little bit last night, but yeah, we will just include some, okay? Okay, we have from Albay. Hello. <laughs> we have from Masbate as well. Hello, good evening. 
Okay, there you go. So, all right, I think I have reached the. <laughs> so, first, let's have my, as usual, board exam. Oh, no, no, it's not. Yeah, it's just an exam tip. So, if you're about to do something very important with your life, the first thing that you have to consider is if you are with a supportive environment. So, in your case, guys, since you are about to take this very important exam you have to be with a supportive environment okay so i was um I, I think i talked about this last night be sure that you are with people who will support you whether you pass or fail especially when you fail okay don't be with people na nandyan lang so supportaan ka if you win okay so make sure na you're surrounded with a supportive environment and not a toxic one there. It's really a good thing kasi. Like it, it was, it, it's really helpful. For example, I, when I took my board exam, yung mama ko pa yung naiyak. I was not yet taking the board exam. Tapos naiiyak na siya para sa akin. So nakaka-boost siya. If, imagine if otherwise you are with a toxic environment, yung hindi supportive or like masyadong negative. So, yeah, maa-apektohan din yung way of thinking mo. So, this is one of the most important tips, okay? If you're gonna take an exam, be with a supportive environment. All right. <laughs> oh, diba? So, Sir here has the wife and newborn daughter. So, that's an inspiration. Right. I hope the rest, if you have boyfriends, girlfriends that are supportive, then that's enough good friends yeah and hindi naman to you know a lot of people kasi had had taken the foe na so you can also reach out to them okay kung meron questions na nahihirapan kayo you talk to them okay of course there were top notchers right i heard yung ibang lecturer natin they were they topped this exam so the friends that you know you reached out to them yeah i'm sure they will help you okay so anyway that's it so, first question, uh, first part nga pala is word analogy. So, I've already talked a bit about this last night. So, the way to kill or to bucket kill yung word ko. <laughs> so, the way to defeat word analogy is the first thing you have to figure out, the relationships. Okay? Mabuti pa yung word, word analogy, ma merong relationships. Yes. So, we have, I've displayed here different kinds of relationships. So word analogy, and we have the first one. That is, okay, antonyms. So as we said last time, these are the opposite word meaning, okay? So I want you to answer this one. So we have, okay, exciting is too boring as blank is too blank. So last night, puro basic at sobrang easy lang yung items ko, I realized. Right. So right now it's still kind of basic naman. Yeah. But at least we have two blanks this time. So you guys can chat your answers. So remember this is antonyms. Ibig sabihin opposite in Tagalog magkasalungat sila in definition. So is it A, B, C or D? Let's see. A strange is to normal, B wealthy is to rich. C, happy is too overjoyed, or D, is too digited. <laughs> okay. Iba daw talaga kapag may sumusuporta sa'yo. But number one, guys, you have to support yourselves too. Believe in yourself. The thing is, this was very helpful when I was still studying kasi I... I don't believe in myself as well. I've always considered myself, yeah, anyway. So, um, your lack of determination, thou, is an insult to those who believe in you. Okay, so that in order that people will believe in you, you have to believe in yourself first, okay? So, of course, nakaka-add naman sa inspiration if people are supporting us. Pero, okay. <laughs> Okay, so the correct answer is very well. Correct answer dito is, okay, exciting is too boring as strange is too normal. So exciting and boring, they are completely opposite words. 
de ba? Uh, give me, ano ba yung mga boring na activities that you know? And what are the exciting activities that you know? So individually, we have yeah, different answers to that. Now, strange is to normal. They are also very opposite words. So normal is yung something common. And if you say strange, that's medyo bizarre. Shantignan or it's not so common. It's pretty unique, right? For example, like, uh, people who wear costumes, kahit hindi Halloween, th- that's pretty strange to us normal people. Anyway, bakit hindi letter B? So wealthy is too rich. It's synonym, okay? Same lang sila ng definition. Sana all rich. Happy is too overjoyed. Still synonym. Sana all happy. Yes, strange or weird. Po. Thank you for that. And then sad or dejected. Still synonyms okay so yeah dejected yeah it's pretty much the same as the word sad okay so kaya yung sagot natin is letter a strange is to normal okay <laughs> now let's proceed hello po. let's have synonyms this time so hello sa mga sobrang some people no sobrang what that what's that diligent mag comment yung iba naman very silent lang if i watch a live mas naaaliw ako sa comments <laughs> seriously <laughs> but anyway so synonyms here kapag sabi nating synonym yung hinahanap na pair is the same word meaning sana also word analogy they have pairs right meron ba kayong pairs guys so funny is too hilarious as to true is to what Wow, sobrang hirap ng other options. We have oblique. Wow, how do you read that one ba? And then we also have urbane, if that's correct. We have forthright and hackneyed. So, what is the answer? A, B, C, or D? It's really oblique. Tapos yung letter B, how do you read that one ba? I've only... I've only very often used urban. It's really urbane. Okay. So, <laughs> right. Correct answer is, again, kapag sabi natin synonym, so for example, yung funny or hilarious, entertaining, ludicrous, um, ano pa bang ibang term kapag funny? Yeah, pretty much. Pero pinaka-common talaga yung hilarious, di ba? If you say true, that is... Let me see. Right. Fourth right. There you go. Kapag sabi nating oblique, it's in, it means indirect. So nilagyan ko na lang ng definition to add on your vocabulary. Okay? So indirect. What is indirect ba? So for example, paano mo sasabihin na mabaho ang kilikili ng isang tao? Do we say it directly? Na huwag mabaho ang kilikili mo? <laughs> we don't, di ba? So sometimes, oh, funny people tend to say it indirectly. So, how do you say it kapag mabaho ang kilikili ng isang tao? <laughs> okay, I am reading you. Some, oh, everyone actually got the correct answer. Na, okay, meron akong tawas. <laughs> or yeah, you can yeah, you can give them a deodorant as a present. It will still be offensive. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now, the way to say it, I don't know, but if, if you really care about the person, I would prefer that you would just tell them directly. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kaya nga, diba? It's true friends thou say bad things to your face. Mm-hmm. There. <laughs> Very well. So, that's an example of an oblique or indirect. Okay, so instead of saying mo, ang baho ng kilikili mo, you can say, yeah, magkano ba yung deodorant, guys? Next one, urbane, it means just elegant. We have hackneyed, it means overused. Okay, overused. Anyway, let's not expand on that. So that this is, okay, a synonym relationship. So if you say Frank, ah, wait, it's not correct. See, true dito, tapos yung isa, Frank. Okay, if you say Frank, it's the same definition with forthright. 
Okay, frank or forthright. There you go. Yung true, iba pala yon. I'm so sorry. I did not edit that one. I should have had. Okay, thank you so much. Next, the third relationship. Uh, meron ng third relationship si word analogy. It's the descriptive, so something that describes. So for example, comedian is to blank as a reporter is to blank. Is it letter A, comedy, report, show, newsroom, honest, frank, or funny, is to serious? So again, it's something that describes. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Chat your answers. Hello po. So we already have viewers. Again, focus natin tonight is... Ano ba ulit yun? Ano kalimutan ko na? Grammar, word analogy, logical analysis, and a little bit of reading comprehension. Okay? So last night kasi it was a lot of grammar. <laughs> right? And frankly, honestly, I, I'm not a big fan of grammar as well. So English yung major ko in college because I love literature and I love speaking and I love reading. I love fiction. But of all, hindi ko talaga gusto yung grammar or anything that's with structure. Kaya lang I don't have a choice. I have to study them. <laughs> so to those na hindi gusto yung grammar, we're on the same track, my friends. Correct answer is... Very well. Comedian is too funny. There. And reporter is too serious. So that's descriptive. Okay? Dine describe yung comedian. Tapos dine describe then kung anong klase yung reporter. So of course, reporters are very serious, right? Alanga naman. <laughs> Where was that? Oh, alanga naman funny yung reporter. Yeah, they're, they're reporting, ano, like, uh, okay, may nasagasaan dito, ha, 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 So, of course, they have to be serious there. So, that's just descriptive. So, if you're answering word analogy, just figure out the relationship, okay? You try to observe the pairs, kung anong hinahanap nila. Okay, so, let's proceed to the next relationship. There you go. Isang bagay or object, a tool and its function. Ano ba yung purpose ng object? Blank is to cut as blank is to measure. Is it a knife and pencil, scissors and ruler, knife and ruler, or scissors and pencil? Chat your answers. So we have, okay, some are answering letter C. Oh, I love you though, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, I love you all too, guys. <laughs> okay, now we are all confused. <laughs> Very well. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. And I have received, anyway, so I have received questions. Uh, so, some, some are commenting because if I was a top-notcher now on my board exam. So I just like to make it clear, po, I am not. A top notcher, okay? I tried, okay? Well, we all try naman, of course. Yung nang nabasa ko, kasi nandyan ka na naman, gawin mo na yung best mo. So, I've, I've so used to that question. When I was in, when I was in high school, everyone or all my friends asked me if I was a valedictorian da when I was in elementary. And I was not. <laughs> Okay, when I was in college, so all of my friends asked if valedictorian ako no high school. And I was not as well. Okay, so no graduation namin sa college, I almost fought with a professor. Kasi akala niya, I, graduate as cum, I will graduate as a cum laude. And I did not. Okay, so when I was working na, everyone from the office or close friends from the office, they asked if I graduated cum laude. And I did not. So sabi niya, ah, baka magna cum laude, hindi rin. Okay. And it's when I learned na, you know, that that's the society standards kasi. Dapat ba pag magaling ka, cum laude ka agad? I mean, us normal people, can't we be good as well? Diba? 
bakit kaming mga normal na tao lang, pwede din naman kaming maging magaling ha, kahit hindi kami cum laude. Right? So we are so drawn into society standard na pag magaling ka ganyan ka na agad. Um, I've, I've learned from, do you guys know Elon Musk ba? Yung pinakamayamang guy sa buong mundo, CEO ng Tesla and SpaceX. Um, he believes that it's possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. Okay? So kahit na natural na mamamayan ka lang, you can still be good. Just show up on time, do your best, and be kind. There. Anyway, correct answer natin is, <laughs> binobola ko lang kayo <laughs> so that we can, okay, you, so others will have time to answer. Correct answer is, scissors is to ruler. Bakit hindi letter C, ma'am? Guys, it's possible for a knife to cut, pero yung real function ng knife is to slice. Okay. Again, the real function of the knife is to slice. So, yung cutting talaga, that's for the scissors, okay? Tapos, measurement yung ruler. Okay. Wow, akala ko yung ruler is pang, okay, pang draw ng margin. Possible. Okay, there you go. So, scissors is for cutting. Yung knife is for slicing, okay? So, this relationship is the... Tool to function. Okay, possible din naman to chop. Yung idea ko kasi to chopping is y- yung, yung thick na knife, but it's still possible, yeah. Chopping or slicing. But yung cutting talaga, it's with the scissors, okay? Next one. Tool is to user naman. So, yung object tapos sino yung gumagamit. So, let's have... Dito na naman yung boses ko, nawawala. So, carpenter is to hammer, blank is to scalpel. Is it dentist, nurse, surgeon, or carpenter? Ay, naulit yung carpenter. Di ba banned yung carpenters? <laughs> Chat your answers. So, very well. I would have included sa distractor yung doctors. Kaya lang. Excuse me, ang aking boses ay... Okay. So, I would have included sa choices yung doctor, kaya lang baka mas maging confusing siya. So, we use scalpel for operations. Okay? So, yung dentist, iba yung tools niya, yung nurse naman could be. But the real ones who use scalpel is the surgeon. Okay? Oh, hindi pala lumabas yung tamang sagot. Mm, there. So, carpenter is to hammer as surgeon is to scalpel. So, doctor is to stethoscope. Yeah, lesson plan. Lesson, uh, teacher is to lesson plan. I'm sure a lot of you, yeah, you already studied a lot about these. Tool is to user. Very well. All good. Yes, so yung scalpel po, it's like yeah, you can search for the picture. Mahilap kasi. But it's used to slice, you know, when they are oper- operating something. Anyway, moving on. Let's have cause and effect this time. So one word is the result of the other. Mm-hmm. One word is the result of the other. So we have fatigue is to yawning. Yung, ano ba yung yawn? Yung... Ah, that's yawning, okay? If you're super tired, so... We have the tendency to yawn a lot. So is it letter A, tired is to ha- happy, busy is to working, hungry is to famished, or itchy is to scratching? Chat your answers. So, nalaman nila yung scalpel through watching K-dramas. Okay. We learn a lot. So, ladies here, fans ka ng K-dramas. How about our males? Who likes NBA? Yes! Honestly, I am a big fan. Did you know when I was in college, I used to cut classes. Actually, uma-absent talaga ako. Just to watch LeBron James that time. Pero ngayon, mas gusto ko na si AD. <laughs> So for the ladies, I love K-dramas. 
hindi famous yung favorite kong actor eh, but it's okay. Of course, you have all seen Scarlet Heart, something like that, di ba? Yan yung sobrang sikat talaga. <laughs> Very well. Okay. So, correct answer is, all right, it's Delta. Very good. So, ano ba yung letter A? Letter A, this relationship does not make sense. Tired is too happy. Meron bang napapagod na natutuwa? Wala. It depends, actually. Busy is too working. It's also not. Hungry and famished, they are the same words, okay? Kaya lang, if you say famished, it means you're super hungry na, okay? So, itchy is too scratching. So, dahil makati siya, so kinakamot mo. So, yung scratching is a result sa itchy. The same yung yawning is a result if you are suffering from fatigue. Fatigue is very difficult, guys. I actually suffer this one at least from time to time or at least every month. Kasi right now, I'm I'm having a medical condition and it goes along with fatigue. Yung kahit na sakto naman ako matulog but I'm still so stressed the next day, it happens. Anyway, correct answer is letter D. There you go. So next one, check your answers. Item to its category. Show an item in the category it belongs to. So san siya na belong. I think actually this example is not that. Para siyang part of the group or something, diba? But anyway, we have wolf is to pack as fish is to. Is it group, band, colony, or school? Chat your answers. So we have Michaela, Jeff, Jervin, Andre, Michael, James, Paul, June. <laughs> Mimic. Jeric. Okay, check your answers. What about the others? So, yung wolf, or yung wolves, it's usually a pack talaga, di ba? Pack of wolves. I've learned this, like, I read a lot about dire wolves in Games of Thrones. Sinong nanonood ng Games of Thrones dito? So, yung house, Stark, mga wolves sila. So, anyway, what's the correct answer? Some are answering, okay, some are answering C, some are answering B. Some are answering A as well. I think this is not very common kasi. Pero correct answer talaga is, okay, there. It's cool. I've learned this one. I think I was watching Nemo. So, na mentioned doon. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid. So, na mentioned doon na, yeah. A school, uh, fish is to school. So, like, yung group of fish, it's called school. Another fun trivia, talagang napahiya ako sa bagay na ito. Yung fish, wala siyang plural form. Okay? So, for example, pag maraming clown fish, kahit marami sila, fish pa rin pala yung tawag. You can only say fishes kapag iba't ibang klase na ng isda. Right? So, kahit na maraming isda, it's still fish, hindi fishes. Unless, iba't ibang klase. The same with food. Kahit gano kadami ang spaghetti mo, that's still food. Pero kapag iba't ibang klase na ng pagkain, that's when you will say foods. So, you have spaghetti, fried chicken, shrimp, for example. So, some words are like that, you know? Yung plural form nila, it depends on the, 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 the classes or the category there. But anyway, yeah, correct answer is fish is to school. There you go. Next one. Mm -hmm. Symbols. So representations or meanings behind. So yung symbol, meron, okay, it, it represents something. So for example, dollar is to money as blank is to light bulb. So is it electricity, light, imagination, or idea? Chat your answers. I hope most of you have, have eaten na. But it's okay. You can still eat naman while watching a lecture. That's what I did. You know, every time I have my meal, so nanonood ako ng lecture when I was about to take my exam. It's a good practice for you guys. And it's good that you're joining final coachings and you take mock exams. It's very helpful. Okay, check your answers. So, right. 
remember ah, if you say symbol, it's not literal. Mm -hmm. It's possible that it's not literal. So for example, yung heart, it represents love, di ba? A rose, it can represent love. Hindi lang ibig sabihin na rose is flower kaagad, right? So kapag symbol siya, it represents something beyond that thing. There. So usually, yeah, of course, except lang yung dollar sign, yung letter S. Yeah, it's very common that it's money. But for the others, it can be beyond that. So usually the answer is, okay, yeah. Uh, let's decode. So, bakit hindi electricity, hindi rent, lalo hindi imagination. So, we are left with light or idea. Yung light kasi, I don't know why you will you will need a representation for light. Right? Light is light. You don't need a symbol for that. But if you say like an abstract symbol, so usually kapag ting, yung may idea ka, it's always with a light bulb, Okay. So, dollar is to money as to idea is to light bulb. The same with a rose is to love or heart is to love. Okay? Ano ba yung ibang symbols? Yeah, the, there are a couple of that. So, correct answer is, it's idea. There. So, para kasing nalilimonagan ang yung utak. That's why there's light bulb in there. Usually, ginagamit nila. So, possible then for light, but it doesn't make sense. Na, why do you need a symbol for light? Light is light, right? But, oh, for example, yung sun, right? So, para sa atin, siguro yung sun, yeah, it gives us life or it gives us light. But ano ba yung symbol ng sun? What's the meaning behind the sun? It gives hope. There. Bakit? Dahil, as long as there's a new day, there's a new life, right? Like, it's believed na even if you failed throughout the day, the next day you can still start all over as long as you're still alive. As long as you're still under the sun. So, sun is a symbol of hope. Mm -hmm. Crown is to royalty. Very well. Thank you so much. Dove is for peace. <laughs> ano? Ano daw ibig sabihin ng candle? Depende. It could be either romantic or funeral. <laughs> okay. There you go. So, next one part of a whole so it means it's a portion of something so engine is to car as blank is to computer is it cpu electricity internet or wires so pay attention chat your answers hello good evening to those who just entered so we are now having word analogy and to the silent viewers there good evening <laughs> Some people are just like that. Parang hindi lang talaga nila gusto mapansin and that's okay. Yeah, we all have different uh, preferences. But good evening po, whichever part of you. God bless on your exam this Sunday. I really hope, I really hope you all make it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it's a fact naman talaga and it's not 100%. Yan yung sabi na, ng speaker namin in, during our graduation. Not everyone will make it. So what you're gonna do, in case you won't, you will take it again. So, yeah, that was a difficult thing, but it's true. However, I hope you all make it. Kasi naman you are doing your best, diba? Anyway, lahat ng sumagot ng letter A, I? Okay. <laughs> Correct. So, the future passers of FOE are? Yeah, joining this lecture or in this group. So, congratulations in advance. Correct answer is CPU. So, para silang, I'm not a machine enthusiast, but yung engine, C CPU, the, these are like yung brain ng isang bagay, right? Electricity is related to computer as well as internet and the wires. Kapag sabihin mong part of a whole, kahit nga yung wire, it's part of the computer, di ba? But if you compare it to the engine, of a car, na siya yung sentro ng sasakyan, ano ba yung sentro ng computer, okay? It's the, oh, very obviously, central processing unit there. So, part of a whole, a portion of something. Okay, I think almost naman got the correct answer. 
Oh, ma'am, DJ ka ba po? Okay, proceed muna tayo sa next item <laughs> bago ako sasagot ng tanong. <laughs> so, master exam tip, guys. Master your analysis skills. So, in exams kasi, it's not enough that you just memorize the answers or you memorize the items or you memorize descriptions word for word. It's not enough. Hindi, yeah, hindi siya enough that it's yung ganun lang, yung gagawin natin, okay? You have to master analyzing. So, I'm sure itong dinidiscuss natin, it's just for your general ability, diba? But you have a lot of, like, yung mga majors nyo. Uh, I've watched the other lectures. Sobrang hirap nun, guys, for me. I'm so proud of you all. So, you have to master your analysis. So for example, dun sa word analogy or sa reading comprehension. So, that mas malaki yung chances mo in hitting the correct answer. Kasi if we're just memorizing... Okay, some questions will be talking about applications. Anong gagawin mo? Or what's the logical thing to do or to choose? Mm -hmm. So that's why if you can analyze well, so yeah, you have higher chances of making it through. And how to do it ba? You have to keep on ano yun? Uh, exercising your mental ability, okay? So f some for men, like they like video games a lot. I, I don't I don't I don't really enjoy it, but it could be a good one if you like playing chess. Or, ako when I was about to take my board exam, I really mastered how to solve the, ano tawo don Rubik's cube. Yeah, for the mental practice, okay. And you read things. Yung fina follow nyo sa social media. Make sure that good siya para sa mind nyo, okay. And yeah, you practice answering there. So this is an exam tip, okay? When you're yeah taking there, you have to master your analysis. Now, next term, next part is the oh my reading comprehension. Who likes reading here? Okay, <laughs> can you send a like, ba? If you like reading, who likes reading here? No one, a man. We don't like reading, po. There. <laughs> mm, see? So some of you don't really. <laughs> Who likes reading? I like you, mom. <laughs> oh, did I apply? Yes, yes, yes. I watched a lot of the, the Carl E. Balita, Sir Carl's videos. Yeah. And I did apply them too. They were really useful. Yung Shinero ni Sir Harvey sa group. You should watch them. Tabloids. Okay. So some of you don't like, most of people that I know, they actually don't enjoy reading. Okay. Yeah. Ako, ako I enjoy it naman very much, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. Hindi siya para sa lahat. So, nakaka, what's the term? Ba? It, it will it, people feel sleepy kasi when they read. Nakakaantok siya. So that's the challenging part. Okay. Like in your exam, you will be faced with a lot of questions. Tendency is mapapagod ang inyong utak. Okay? So we will be, I have like very few tips lang for reading comprehension. Self-help books. Nice, Miss Marge. The notebook. Oh, John read GOT. I did too. I enjoyed reading comments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very well. So anyway. I have here, hindi naman siya, this is the part of my presentation that I don't like kasi sobrang daming words. But let's just try to understand them together. I, I chose a very short passage lang, guys. Ha? Anyway, let's. I, I'm going to read it quickly para hindi kayo mapagod. Just go, Lord. Okay. So just imagine a group of frogs was traveling through the woods and two of them fell into a deep pit. So nahulog. Log, log, log sila. When the other frogs crowded around the pit and saw how deep it was, they told the frogs that there was no hope left for them. So, malalim yung nahulugan na pit, kaya sinabi ng ibang frogs na nasa itas na, nako, wala nang pag-asa, right? However, the two frogs decided to ignore what others were saying and they proceeded to try and jump out of the pit. So even when they were told na it's impossible na, 
or hindi na kaya, they don't have the chance to recover. So they still tried to jump out of the pit. So despite their efforts, the group of frogs at the top of the pit were still saying that they should just give up. Kasi nga, masyadong malalim. And they don't have the chance that they would never make it out. So, mapapagod lang sila, mas babuti pa, mag-give up na lang sila. So, that's what the frogs from the upper or the, from the top told them, yung hindi mga nahulog. Ano ba yung Tagalog ko? Sorry. So, eventually, one of the frogs took heed to what the others were saying and anong ginawa niya? He gave up, falling down to his death. So, eventually, yung isang palaka, napagod na siya nga, okay, baka nga, wala nang chance. So, my baby, I'm, I'm never gonna make it. So, I just give up. And the other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. And again, so the crowd of frogs from the top yelled na to stop the pain and just die. He jumped even harder and finally made it out. When he got out, the other frogs said, Did you not hear us? Because kasi they were all screaming, di ba, na, Just give up, you will not make it, you don't have a chance. However, the frog explained to them that he was deaf. Okay, how do you pronounce that one? But is it deaf or deaf? I think it's deaf. He thought they were encouraging him the entire time. So there, hanggang dun lang. See, hindi naman masyadong mahaba. So, okay, let me search for the pronunciation first. Okay, it's really deaf. Anyway, so the other one that was told to give up, kasi wala nang pag-asa, he gave The other one did not give up. Bakit? Dahil bingi pala siya. And all this time, he was thinking na the th- from the top were encouraging him. Sige, kaya mo yan. But in reality, yung sinabi talaga is just give up ka na, right? But hindi niya narinig yon. So, yeah, he was able to make it out. There you go. So, okay, that was it. Yun lang. Hindi naman masyadong mataas. And that was a really good point. Anyway, we will talk about the lesson later. So, tip number one in the reading comprehension, read the questions first. Okay? So, it's what I often do. Every time I have reading exams, binabasa ko muna yung mga tanong. Kasi baka masyadong mahaba yung passage and then mapapagod na yung utak nyo. Okay? So, para malaman mo kung anong hinahanap mo, just read the questions first. Okay? And then directly, you just, uh, dun mo na-scan. Okay? Anyway, how the frogs fell deep pit? So, is it none, two, three, or all of them? Check your answers. Hello po. Okay. So, as we can see, oy, oh, di ba? Naiintindihan naman pala. Akala ko ayaw niyo magbasa. You're able to get it naman pala. That's good. So, the correct answer is, there. If we apply the first step, pa, read the questions first. So, una nating babasahin yung tanong, how many, fo- how many frogs fell into the deep pit? So, I think in the first sentence pa lang, kuha mo na yung correct answer, di ba? Traveling through the woods, two of them fell into the deep pit. How many frogs fell? Two of them, right? So, that's the power of reading the questions first. So, the correct answer is letter B. There you go. So, yeah, dalawa silang nahu. Log, log, log. Buti pa yung frogs. Dalawa nahulog. Ikaw, ikaw lang nahulog. Hindi ka pa sinalo. Ay. <laughs> Just pass the exam instead na maging heartbroken. Tip number two, we go for the scanning. So, ibig sabihin ng scanning is may hinahanap ka specific detail. So, yung question number one, it's also scanning, okay? Okay, so let's try Did both the frogs give up? Is it yes, as they were told that there was no hope? B, yes, as they got tired of jumping? C, no, both of them went out alive? Or D, no, only one survived? 
<laughs> Sana all baki. <laughs> Dalawa sila nahulog. I'm sure most of you have tried, diba? Na ikaw lang nahulog. That's okay. It happens. So, chat the answers. All right. Oh, magaling naman pala yung reading comprehension nyo eh. Right. See? So, yeah, everyone got the correct answer. I think, yeah, masyado naman kasi siyang easy. Diba? But that's just it. If if you have, yeah, another tip pala yung presence of mind, but let's talk about that later. So, for example, if you say scanning, guys, you're, bin, pwede mong basahin lahat, but binabasa mo siya faster. Okay? So, if you read kasi slowly to fully understand everything, baka maubusan ka ng oras. So, you can try scanning. Look for specific details. Kaya nga, it's important that you read the questions first so that you can scan kung ano ba yung sagot. Okay? So, here, did both the frogs give up? So, you can still read all of these but in a quick pace. And here, we can see in the first part, eventually, one of the, one of the frogs gave up. Diba? One of the frogs gave up. Did both the frogs give up? No. Diba? So you can find your answer. One of the frogs give up and only one survived. So yun lang si yung deaf frog survived. Okay. So that was the answer. It's letter D. There. <laughs> so... Next one is, last tip for reading comprehension, it's this one. Skimming. Oh my, it's so cold. So skimming, it's you're looking for the main idea, okay? Again, scanning, you're looking for specific details. Skimming naman, you're looking for the main idea. What does that mean? Binabasa mo siya quickly, pero... You're just looking for parang yung summary. What is it all about? Okay? So, let's have this one. The other frog did not give up because was it he was deaf, he was encouraged, he was scared, or he got lucky? I think we have two good answers here. Let's see. <laughs> the other frog did not give up because... Mm-hmm. It's just ang palaka daw, sabi ni mom. Sana all hindi sunusukuan. Ay, bakit kayo? <laughs> Parang sad, sad people kayo dito. Oy. Well, let's not talk about that. Ah, ako lang pala na una. But it's a really nice thing, di ba? Yung lesson ng story. Anyway, how about the others? Are you planning to change your answer? Oh, I received a question here. Yeah, what is the difference daw if, ano yun? What was that? That was so fast, ah. Let me scan for that one a bit. Anyway, how about the others? What are your answers? So we can remove options D and options C. He was not lucky naman. He was not lucky at all. Kasi nga nahulog siya. And then, yung isa naman is... He was scared. He was not scared at all. Okay. He was just unlucky, but he was not scared. Um, okay. I found a question. What's the difference that between muted and deaf? So if you say deaf, kasi you, you have like, yung entirely, yung, yung hearing ability mo is wala siya. If you're muted, I think this is about the speaking ability. Okay. Is it correct? It's like you're, you're silent. Yeah. So some people, yung bakit daw yung mga bingi, hindi sila makapagsalita. It's because they don't know any sound. Eh, hindi nga sila makarinig properly. Or hindi nga sila nakadinig at all. That's why they cannot say anything as well. Okay? Pag walang input, walang output. Ganon. Now, the other frog did not give up. So I'm sure most of you answered letter A. But actually, it's bakit ba siya hindi na give up? It's because deep down, na encourage siya, na inspire siya. Okay? Why? So, is if you can see, if you're gonna skim for the main idea, hindi siya na give up dahil bingi siya, okay? Bakit sasabihin mo ba, ah, hindi ako mag-give up kasi bingi ako? Right? 
hindi siya nag-give up sa, dahil sa fact na bingi siya. Personally, he did not give up because na-encourage, na-inspire siya deep down because he believed that her friends nung nasa taas are all cheering for him. Okay? Like, oh my gosh, ang daming sumusuporta sa akin, so I'm just gonna do my best and jump out of here. So, na-encourage siya deep down. Kaya siya hindi siya nag-give up, okay? Letter A is also a very good distractor. Pwede naman na hindi siya nag-give up. The main reason was that he did not hear them. So, akala niya, they, they were all in- encouraging him. So, in return naman, thank you, it's so cold. <laughs> in return naman, na-encourage siya, okay? So, he did not give up. Hindi naman na, hindi ako give up kasi nga, bingi ako, no. Okay? He did not give up because he was encouraged there. What was the more, uh, the good lesson of the story, guys? Lalo na, these are all for, the, that lesson was for all of us, diba? A lot of people will want to bring you down, okay? And it's up to you kung what kind of criticisms you will, you're willing to take in, okay? A lot of people would want to see you fail your exam. A lot of people are rooting for you to fail. A lot of people will say na give up ka na lang because you're not good enough. And it's up to you kung ano ipapasok mo inside your mind at ano yung ipapatama mo sa iyo okay so if you only let the positive criticisms come through then it will have a really good effect on you okay so that's it uh, also of course people are still cheering for you so choose what you listen to yun yung sabi ng um yeah a very intelligent person told me that no one can make you feel sad or inferior without your consent so, depende lang yun sa inyo, okay? So, yeah, just like the frog, he made it through kasi, yeah, <laughs> luckily, <laughs> hindi niya narinig yung negative criticisms. Now, anyway, another board exam tip or another exam tip, guys, is to question all the choices. And this worked so much for me. Sometimes, when you read the question, you'll be very confused na, di ba? Yung pagbasa mo sa tanong pa lang, hindi mo na maintindihan. How are you gonna give the correct answer? So kaya nga, you need to have good analysis skill. That's why you have to practice your mentality. Now, if hindi talaga kaya, uh, this is one way to eliminate is you try to question all the choices. So, letter A, does this work ba for the question? Does this answer ba to the question? Yes or no? Letter B, does this answer ba to the question? Yes or no? Mm-hmm. So you pick san sa kanila yung you think that's related to the question. If you don't know lang the question at all, pag wala ka nang maintindihan, okay? So balik tarin mo yung situation. Instead na you will look for the answer, try to question all the choices. Okay? All right. <laughs> so... I'll try to question their work. Ay, ano ba yung mga tanong dito? Okay. So anyway, let's proceed. This is the favorite ng lahat, logical analysis. Wow. So this has been very challenging for me to create as well. I've had logic classes in college. And I really, yeah, ngayon ko lang na-realize. <laughs> that was very important pala. And I find logic always fun. Yeah. So anyway, let's proceed directly to the First question. Mm-hmm. Ah, definition nga pala first. So kapag logical analysis, it means uh, you are reasonable in examining the structure of something. Kung logical or rational or reasonable ba sila. Or if the study of something is of correct reasoning. Okay? So kaya nga, maa-apply dito lahat ng tips, di ba? You have to, ano yun, eliminate question all the choices, you have to master your analysis kasi it's very important in this part. Now, we have the first tip. Make inferences. Ano ba yung inference, guys? Kung merong nakaprovide na evidence ng isang bagay, you can already, you, you make a prediction. Okay? Kasi Ibig sabihin, if you're able to predict, you have an idea of what's about to happen. 
de ba? And if you find them in the choices, then that's yeah, bulls eye. There you go. So make inferences, okay? So later I'll give an example kano yung inference. Ha? But for now, let's answer this one first. So I think this is a what kind of analysis, beto? It's not valid. Probably a, an inductive, yeah, an inductive reasoning. So here, an umbrella prevents you from getting wet in the rain. Ashley took her umbrella and she did not get wet. So what conclusion can we get from this one? Letter A, Ashley did not need her umbrella. Letter B, it probably rained. Letter C, without the umbrella, she will still be dry. Or letter D, with the umbrella, she will still be wet. So what inductive reason or what induct ko? But anyway, it's something about inductive or like from yeah, specific to general thought that we can conclude to this one. So while you're all answering, let me explain again ano yung inference. Again, kung merong evidence, you make a prediction based on the evidence given. Diba? So for example, nung elections, we had surveys. So yung mga survey, ma we can get the idea na kung sino yung mananalo. That's making inferences. Okay? So, for example, mataas yung percentage ng isang candidate. So, it can reflect to the real elections. Baka nga totoo. So, magkaka-idea na tayong mga tao, we can already predict na, okay, there's a possibility na itong candidate ito ang mananalo kasi lamang siya sa survey. So, that's inferences. You, yeah, you decide based on the little evidence that's given to you. Okay? Anyway, correct answer is, kain po tayo, ma'am, while listening. That's nice. Eat well. Kumain ako. <laughs> I had to, di ba? Kasi masyadong late na tayong matatapos. So some of you, you can eat, okay? Anyway, correct answer is letter B. So that's the general conclusion that we can get, di ba? Kasi hindi daw nabasa si Ashley, then it probably rained, di ba? Dahil she took her umbrella. However, there could be a flaw to this one. Pwede naman na hindi umulan, okay? Hindi siya nabasa eh. So, it's possible na kahit na dinala niya yung payong niya, hindi umulan. But it's still a valid conclusion na dinala na yung umbrella niya and she was not wet at all. So, it probably rained. Kasi an umbrella prevents you from getting wet in the rain, okay? So, everyone got the correct answer. Hello from, yeah, Agusan del Sur. Okay, so that's it for um, logical analysis, make predictions or inferences. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this one, find what is implied. So, that's the second tip. So, let's have the example or the question. Every person who lives in is that Quebec? Sorry, guys. Ah, search nyo lang after. I think that's Quebec. Every person who lives in Quebec lives in Canada. Everyone in Canada lives in North America. So, is it letter A? Anong conclusion natin? Everyone from... Ah, that's Quebec pala. Thank you po. So, everyone from North America is from Canada. Letter B. Not everyone from Canada is from North America. Letter C. Everyone from Quebec. <laughs> Ayon, <laughs> na conscious na ako. Is that cool? <laughs> I don't wanna search. Anyway, Quebec na lang lives in North America or letter D. Not everyone from Quebec is from Canada. Nako mam hindi naman intindihan ang inyong tanong. Uh, you, you can read once more. Uh. So let me see. Ano ba yung pronunciation yan oy? Quebec. Ah, it's really Quebec. Thank you, thank you. So, all right, everyone has the same answer. It's Quebec po. So, find out what is implied. Something was not stated there directly. Okay. Again, it's indirect yung pagka-state niya. And we have to look for that. Ano ba yung hindi sinasabi dito? Mm -hmm. So, they're just giving us all the details. But some parts were not given. And we have to 
find that one out. So find out another way of answering logical analysis. You have to find out what is implied. So find out ano yung hindi sinabi there. So for example, okay, let's try it. Lahat daw ng tao na nasa, bakit ba kasi ito yung pinili ko? <laughs> okay, na taga Quebec, they live in Canada. Tapos everyone naman from Canada, they live in North America, right? So the bucket Hindi letter A, everyone from North America is from Canada. A letter A is a bit irrational, diba? Kasi galing siya sa maliit, Quebec, malaki Canada, tapos pinakamalaki North America. That's how the, that's how that's what the progress is. So if letter A it doesn't make sense at all, everyone from North America is from Canada, Canada, no? I don't think so. I think there are different places naman in North America apart from ca- just Canada, diba? Letter B, not everyone from Canada is from North America. No, sabi nga dito eh, everyone in Canada is from North America, diba? Letter C, everyone from Quebec lives in North America. Possible. Letter D, not everyone from Quebec is from Canada. So also not stated. First sentence pa lang, mali na si letter D. So, correct answer is letter C. So, lahat tao sa Quebec is in Canada, tapos yung Canada naman nabilong siya sa North America. So, we can conclude na lahat ng tao sa Quebec is also from North America. Let's make it simpler nga. If I will say, ah, okay. Well, what are famous places? But I'm I'm not so familiar, kasi. So, for example, I will say, everyone from. I'm not sure, kasi. Okay, I'll just mention, for example, Mandawi City. So, everyone from Mandawi City lives in Cebu Island, and everyone in Cebu Island lives in the Philippines. So we can infer that everyone from Mandawi City lives in the Philippines. Something like that, okay? So find out what is implied. At kung nahihirapan kayo, another thing, and yeah, you can replace the subjects. I remembered nga when, when I was studying logic, yung every sentence, they are represented with letters. So P is to Q, Q is to R, ganun ganon siya, okay? Anyway, that's it. Find out what is implied. So correct answer is letter C, good job to those who answered letter C. You're gonna make it. The power of C talaga, no? Let's have this one. Tip number three is we will, or you can try to map the words. Map, not literal na mapa, but you can try to, you know, make graph of something. So for example, in the honor ranking, Jenny's level is higher than June's. And Jet's level is lower than June's. The question is, who is in the lowest rank among the three? Among the three, ano ba? Who is in the lowest rank among the three? Is it Jenny, June, Jet, or no one? So chat your answers. Let's see. So as we can see here, yeah, we all have, oh, we have the different answer na. Diba? That's why it's important Now we know how to map the words. So in this case, so in the honor ranking daw, so nauna si Jenny kesa kay June. So palag- palagay lang natin first si Jenny, second si June. Now, Jet's level is lower than June. Pang ilan nga si June? June was second, di ba? Tapos yung level ni Jet is mas, yeah, lower than June. So second June, pagpalagay natin, third si Jet. Okay? Now that makes the entire sense of it, okay? Who is in the lowest rank among the three? It's Jet. So still, okay. Still the power of C. So again, if you're having a hard time, you can try putting on representatives instead na pangalan or 
map the words. You know, you, you try to connect connect them. So first, si Jenny, mas higher yung rank niya. Tapos, mas, ma mas higher si Jenny kay June. So number two, si June. Si Jet naman, mas mababa siya kay June. So number three, si Jet. Pinaka lowest rank si Jet. Highest rank si Jenny. Okay? Of course, si Jenny yung highest rank. Kasi ako yan. Pangalan mo yung example mo. Of course, ikaw yung panalo, di ba? Minsan na nga lang tayo <laughs> mananalo. <laughs> okay. So, correct answer is letter C. That's what you do, okay? In logical analysis, practice mapping the words para hindi kayo malito. Sometimes, if we answer directly kasi, kung agad-agad yung pagkasagot, <laughs> hindi na natin siya na-analyze. So, kasi dito, Jenny's level is higher than June's. Okay, baka si June yung pang lowest rank. Na, uh, try to analyze first, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mom Jenny. Do you know what? I love chicken nuggets. <laughs> Thank you for the joke. I've been, say I've been saying that one the entire day. Anyway, tip number four. Nandito na naman si relationships. Bakit ba kasi? So, figure out the relationships okay so it's still pretty much the same with mapping the words you try to find out the connections okay so for example no elephant can fly this is pretty easy actually dumbo is an elephant therefore what's our conclusion is it letter a no fly is an elephant letter b dumbo is not an elephant Letter C, Dumbo can fly. Or letter D, Dumbo cannot fly. Thank you so much. Okay, some, some are still saying there. Okay, iba-iba pa rin yung sagot ng iba. That's okay. So let's figure out letter A. No fly is an elephant. This is obviously just a distractor. Of course naman. Diba? Sino bang langaw nagiging elefante? So we can cancel that one. Letter B, Dumbo is not an elephant. So it's clearly stated in the second sentence that Dumbo is an elephant, okay? So letter C, Dumbo can fly. Sabi nga dito, walang elephant, eh, walang elepante na nakakalipad. Si Dumbo, elepante siya. So ibig sabihin, the answer is letter D, okay? So no elephant can fly. And since Dumbo is an elephant, therefore... Dumbo cannot fly. So that's it. You find out what is implied. Ano yung hindi sinabi? You figure out the relationships, okay? Or you map the words. There you go. Now let's move on. This is the very, one of the most challenging items. So, yeah. Remove irrelevant options i think yeah we've you you've heard this one so many times already yun yang elimination diba so we have here the conclusion na sophia daw is a singer so this conclusion can be logically drawn from what statement so i want you to analyze this all well letter a if a person is a singer one writes song lyrics. Sophia writes song lyrics. Letter B. In every music show, non-singers are seated in the back rows. Sophia is seated in the front row. Letter C. Some singers join music clubs. Sophia is a member of the club. Or is it the of the above? <laughs> when I was still studying, I've always, always answered letter D. Kasi feel, feeling ko talaga palaging tama yung all of the above. Or none of the above. Or yung mas mahabang option. Yan yung sagot. <laughs> I've always thought like that. But anyway, let's see. Okay. So yung conclusion natin is, Sophia is a singer. In this case, every time you try to read the option... Okay, you include the conclusion, okay? And you'll try to measure if they all make sense ba, okay? Right, there you go. Do you guys have your favorite singers? Woo! Sino pang nakikinig dito ng my chemical romance? I'm a big fan. Okay. <laughs> oh, sino si Sophia? The singer. 
very well. Let's see. So let's try. There you go. I've seen people chatting the correct answer now. The correct answer is actually letter B. Okay. Now, why is it not letter A? If a person is a singer, one writes song lyrics. Possible, di ba? For example, yeah, Taylor Swift, she does write her song lyrics. However, not all of them, okay? Hindi ibig sabihin singer ka, you write all. There are some writers, uh, talagang songwriters lang sila, and hindi sila singers, okay? So here, Sophia writes song lyrics. Does that mean ba na Sophia is a singer agad? Not exactly, right? Again, not all songwriters are singers, okay? So... It's okay. It could be, but it's not completely logical. So again, the answer is letter B, diba? Uh, let's have letter... Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, it's correct na pala. So let's have letter C. Some singers join music clubs. So Sophia is a member of the music club. So the statement here is some singers join the music club. Some lang. Just because nag join ka sa music club, that does mean ba singer ka agad is some lang. What about the others? Diba? They can play instruments and can join the music clubs. Diba? Ang ala, hindi naman choir yung sanalihan mo <laughs> at singer ka yung lahat. It's a music club. So you can play musical instruments as well. Okay? So hindi ibig sabihin na member ka ng club, you're already the singer. So it's also not logical. So why is letter B logical? In every music show, yung non-singers, yung hindi singers, sa likod sila nakaupo. However, Sophia is seated in the front row. Yung umupo lang sa back row are the non-singers. So, ibig sabihin, yung nasa front row, they are singers. Therefore, we can conclude that Sophia is a singer. Okay? <laughs> May naaalala ako sa front row. Who are front row members here? Salute. I was, yeah, <laughs> I was invited when I was in university. Sobrang tagal na tapos ng orientation. Sobrang guapo pa ng speaker. Ako lang yung kausap niya. Tapos I did not join because wala akong pera. Anyway, so that's it. So non-singers are in, seated, seated in the back row. Sophia is seating in the front row. Kaya Sophia is a singer so that's the only the only logical <laughs> statement yung letter a or c they're okay but it's not a hundred percent okay just because you write song lyrics that doesn't mean you're a singer just because you join music clubs doesn't mean you're a singer already okay so the only logical answer is let's say ding, 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 letter b there you go so that's it those are for the tips sa Logical analysis, okay? So, ano yun? You make inferences, find out what is implied, figure out the relationships, map the words, and you remove irrelevant options. Also, yung tip ko na question all the choices. They work well with logical analysis, okay? Okay, there you go. Now, let's proceed. So, best exam tip is pray. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Some of you maybe are uh, not, not that religious a lot. That's also okay. But para lang dun sa mga naniniwala, wala namang mawawala. So, that's the best exam tip. So, as to me, I've prayed so hard, you know. If it's for you and you work for it, it will be given to you. No matter whatever it takes or no matter how long. Okay. That's the best exam tip. So kapag na mental block ka na in the middle of the exam kasi you, know, you got so tired na in answering so many questions or it's too much for your brain to take, ka lang daw ng konte and then tumawag ka sa kanya. Tumawag talaga. May number ka, ma'am. I mean, you pray. <laughs> okay? And then you start again. So that, you are peace of mind. Lord, hindi ko na kaya. Okay, so hingang malalim, you pray and start again. Now, let's have the drills. So these are random questions. So overall na ito, okay? From grammar, um, ano ulit yun? Word analogy, 
um, logical analysis and a little bit of reading comprehension, okay? So again, for reading comprehension, don't forget, read the questions first, use Kim and use Scan, okay? Scan is for specific details. Skim naman is for main ideas. So who is ready? Let's start with the first one. My neighbor, along with her dogs, blank, been walking since this morning. Is it has, have, or had? Chat your answers. Mm hmm. Is it A, B, or C? While you some are answering, you can chat kung tagasan kayo so that I can shout out. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have. Hindi ko naman mabasa yung pangalan zone. Okay, Ryan, Irene, Gerald. Okay. What about the others? Okay, ma'am, baka napapagod ka na, pahinga ka muna dito sa balikat ko. Wow, sana all. <laughs> baka yan yung masagot mo. <laughs> right? It happens all the time, di ba? When you play a lot. <laughs> I remember my classmates are cheating during, not the exam, but like just in school. Na, na, okay. Na, okay, he wrote the name as well, nang kinopyahan niya. So, nakopya niya, include yung pangalan. <laughs> That's funny, di ba? Correct answer is... Okay, Pampanga. Hello, CDO. Kauswagan CDO. Hello po, magandang gabi. Okay, from the Polog. So, some are answering A or B. So, so far. Okay, some are also answering letter C. We have from Albay, Kaza, and from... Tagkawayan, Kazan, Bacolod, Sarangani Province, Capiz, Romblon. Hello, good evening. God bless on your exam this Sat Sunday. Diba? Break a leg, guys. Nandun na naman kayo. Gawin nyo na yung best nyo, okay? So, correct answer is letter. Pangasinan lang yun, dagupan. Capiz later. Okay, to gigaraw. <laughs> okay, sorry, yeah, sorry. Mahina yung kalaban. All right, correct answer is letter A has. Why is it has? Ma'am, bakit hindi have? Diba sabi mo kahapon, yung plural is have. That's correct. But in this sentence, guys, don't consider what's inside the two commas, okay? So yung along with her dogs. It's not included, okay? If you can see, the real sentence lang there is, My neighbor has been walking since this morning. So, nag-iisa lang yung neighbor niya. Has been walking this morning. So, yung along with her dogs, it's actually not included. It's a verb, okay? Ayun na naman, masyadong mainit. Okay, so, my neighbor has been walking since this morning, you only consider the, okay, the, yung talagang tunay na subject. So, okay, don't mind what's inside the comma kasi, yeah, they, they don't, they're not included. Very well. So, my neighbor has been walking since this morning. We use has for present tense and very good. That's third person and all singular. Okay, singular lang. So, for on isa. Kapag have, sorry, kapag have used present tense pa rin, plural, tsaka first, second person, which is I and you. Okay? Yung had is for past tense. Let's proceed. Okay, word analogy. Flower is to tulip as blank is to Nile. Is it ocean, lake, river, or glacier? Check your answers. Ay, married, married na ba daw ako? <laughs> Sana all. Masyadong mahal yung buhay, no? Have you ever felt it? Sino mga single dyan? Like all of your friends are getting married and having kids. Diba? And you're still trying to figure out what to eat for dinner. Whew. <laughs> What's the answer? Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct answer is... Very well. Yeah. 
Nile is a river, di ba? So this is, ano bang relationship ito? It's, I believe, the category. Yeah, the name and the category. So yung, someone's calling me. Oh, oh, it's my mama. Okay. <laughs> oh my, I feel so bad for finding. Anyway, correct answer is... Ah, uh, letter C. Flower is to tulip and river is to Nile. So Nile River, okay? It's that ocean. I'm sure you're familiar with the different oceans, Pacific, Antarctic, Indian. <laughs> so anyway, let's proceed. The bread always blank better when dipped into coffee. That's dipped in past tense. Sorry about that. So is it A, taste, B, tastes, C, go, or D, feels? Check your answers. Okay. So, tumawag si mama. Mama! Mama yan na mama. Nagahanap buhay pa ako. <laughs> Ganun talaga. When I was about to take my board exam, my mom cried. And that, that really inspired me. So I hope it will do to you as well. And if you have both your parents with you, you should be very thankful to that, okay? At least you have the chance to make them proud. Okay, as long as you're doing... I'm sure kahit na naman hindi pa, like, official passer kayo, as long as, as long as your parents see that you're doing your best, I'm sure they're already very proud of you. So my, my father passed away when I was 12 years old. And that actually, until now, it still breaks my heart, diba? So if you have both your parents, make them proud. And now that you're studying hard, I'm sure you already did. Yay! Congratulations. Diba? Sweet ni mama. Oh. I'm sorry, Inday. I love you. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sana all. Answer is, remember, bread is uncountable. Again, bread is uncountable. As factual as it is, hindi po natin nabibilang literally yung bread. So it's usually loaves of bread or hindi naman applicable yung piece a put a piece of bread but it's usually loaf a loaf of bread yung nakikita ko okay and remember kapag uncountable noun it always it will always take the singular form okay so singular siya hindi siya nagiging plural hindi ko naman so far narinig yung i have three breads here it's very strange, diba? So you can say, I have three pieces of bread. I have three loaves of bread. But we will never say, I have three breads. I have five breads here. Do you want some? Diba? It's pretty strange to listen to. So bread is uncountable. So it's singular, okay? So correct answer is letter B. Oh my, some are. <laughs> yeah, some, some can relate to the story. That's true. I lost my dad. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'll be uploading my PowerPoint presentation. Don't worry. Po. The download ko muna siya. I made this from Canva. It's my first time. You guys should try using Canva. Very creative siya. And very usual for the space kasi online lang siya. Okay? So I will upload it. Yeah. Maybe later or tomorrow po. There you go. So correct answer is tastes kasi bread. Is uncountable and it will always take the singular form. Next question. Okay, logical analysis. If workers strive, workers excel. Workers didn't strive. Letter A, work excelled. B, workers didn't excel. Or letter C, they are not workers. So find out what is implied. Find out what is not said directly. Chat your answers. Okay, oh. Walang proud sa'yo kasi di nila alam na nag -e exam ka. Ay, we're all proud of you. So I understand na some of you here did not tell anyone yet na they are gonna take the board exam. That's the tendency kasi yung iba natatakot kasi what if they ask and I fail? Anong masasabi ko? 
So at least if I fail, I don't have to explain it to them. Your feelings are completely valid. It's okay. Okay? Pag wala kang sinabihan, if that makes you feel more comfortable, it's okay. If you open up naman, you can open up to people that you trust. It's also okay. Okay? But know that, yeah, we're here listening to you. We're all proud of you. Anyway, correct answer is workers didn't excel. So obviously, yung, yung binigay in a statement is if workers strive now, they will excel. If they strive, kaya logical um, conclusion is workers did not excel. It's pretty easy. Let's read. Okay, finding errors. Okay, I, I'm sure magaling yung mga babae dito. Maghanap ng mali. De. So, one of her friends are not are good at painting. One of her friends are good at painting. Where is the error? Is it A, B, C, or D? Chat your answers. Mm, okay. Oh, you have very um, gaganda ng stories nyo, no? Yeah, we are all proud of you. Oh, God bless. Papa and mama, try lang wala namang mawawala. True! Exactly! Alam nyo, yung anong kanta ba yan na? Oh, with a smile? Ah, no, 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 no. Ano ba? <laughs> Basta there's a song na merong line na you can't win at everything. Mag-comment ko nga dito. It's okay. Hindi, that's true. Wala namang mawawala, di ba? Sabi nga nila, if you lose, you learn. Uh, if you win, you're happy. But if you lose, you become wise. Di ba? But you can... Magko-comment ako, ah. This one, there. Ay, first time ko nag-comment. Sana mababasa kong comment ko sa StreamYard. Okay. So, correct answer is... Si Jong sumasagot. Okay, some are answering. Let, let her see. What about the others? Yes, exactly. You can't win at everything, but you can try. Diba? It's the with a smile. Yeah, I really like that one. There. Correct answer is... Now, some are answering B or C. So, we can remove letter A or actually, we can also remove the, the no error, okay? Yung subject lang natin dito is pay attention to this one. One of her friends. One. Kaya singular lang po yun. Okay? Iisa nga lang eh. So, some kasi, we will be blinded by the word friends. Ah, marami naman yung friends, kaya baka are yung answer, di ba? So, one of her friends is good at. Correct answer, answer Jan, is, okay, number three. One of her friends is good at. So, yung consider lang natin sa verb is the word, okay? One of my hobbies, aha, uh -huh. There you go. So, one of her friends is good at. Okay? So, correct answer is very well. Letter C. Congratulations! Oh, magaling talaga maghanap ng mali yung tao. Okay. <laughs> very well. Let's proceed with another word analogy. Coward. Ito ah. Tawag natin sa relationship na to is attribute. So, anong meron sa isang bagay? It's not a descriptive uh, word analogy, attribute. So, anong meron sa kanya? So, you're a coward as a noun ito, not as if, as an adjective, okay? Coward is to blank, as to hero, is to bravery. Is it letter A, poverty, B, unhappiness, C, jealousy, or D, fear? Wow, some are already answering. Okay. <laughs> oh, ang daming alam ng tamang sagot. Very well, that's correct. Paano kaming hindi pa pumasa, tinatawag ng sir? Yan. Yung kaka-graduate mo pa lang. Yeah, it's a lot sure actually. So, exactly. <laughs> oh, Ma'am Jenny, ito ka lang dapat. I know, my family name is Mental. I don't, I will never talk about my middle name kasi mas lalong nakakatawa yung buong pangalan ko. Anyway, correct answer is 
ano ba yung attribute ng isang, kapag ibig sabihin ng coward kasi is matatakot din, those people that who don't try new things kasi they are comfortable in their comfort zone. So they are afraid. They have fear in them. As well as the hero, they have bravery in them. So magigiti ang kanilang mga kalooban there. So coward is to fear as hero is to bravery. And every one of you are heroes. Yung, actually, ju- just the just the strength you have in taking the exam, it, it's already very brave. Kasi it's not 100% guaranteed papasa ka. Kahit nag-graduate kang mataas yung grades mo, nag-review ka sa mamahaling review center, it's never guaranteed na papasa ka. There's always a chances of failing. And the fact that you're willing to take that risk, that's very brave. Okay, tama ng pagdaldal. Jero Blanc, not know the right happy songs. Is it did, do, or does? Chat your answers. Pagpasensyahan nyo na, ha? <laughs> I've read a lot of criticisms about my lectures. Mom, sobrang daldal mo, nakaka-distract. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying my best naman. But to me lang kasi, kaya nga ling mag-lecture yung isang tao, it's because they are they 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 talk a lot and they explain a lot, diba? Ayokong nabuboard kayo. Kaya sorry sa distractions. Correct answer is imagine a Gerard here is singular. And no not know how to write happy songs. So, ano ulit yung gagamitin natin kapag singular? Mm-hmm. So, by the way, the Gerard that I'm referring here is Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance. There. So, Gerard, always remember kapag singular yung subject, palaging merong S yung verb, okay? Does has tastes yep i think that that's the most common lang or the most basic na technique if you really don't know kapag singular yung subject merong s yung nakasunod sa kanya okay so gerard does not know actually possible then na did yung answer kaya lang we're not sure of the time frame kasi so to be safe let's choose gerard does not know right happy songs not do, guys, kasi do, we use them for, anong ulit yun? Plural at saka plural and <laughs> first and second person point of view. Sobrang makakalimutin ko these days. Actually, all my life. So that's it. Gerard does not. Again, did, past tense, do, plural. We also use it for I and you. I do, you do. Okay? Does naman present, and singular. So, Jenny does, he does, she does, my dog does. Okay? Let's continue. Logical analysis item. If you get a job, then you earn money. If you earn money, then you will buy a car. Jon Snow got a job. Therefore, letter A, he earned some money. Letter B, he didn't buy a car. The letter C, he bought a car. Check your answers. Is it A, B, or C? Mm-hmm. Okay, wow. Iba-iba na yung sagot ng mga people of the world. Yes, let's see here. What could be the logical conclusion to this one? So find the relationship, okay? Find the relationship. Oh, wow. Let me see nga. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. I see. So, imagine if you earn ma, If you get the job, you earn money. Yan yung sa statement. We will be basing from the statement, okay? If you get a job, you earn money. If you earn money, you'll buy a car. So, Jon Snow... Got a job. What could be what what could be the possible action from Jon Snow of Winterfell? 
the bastard from Winterfell. <laughs> okay. But Jon Snow rode the dragon. That's true. Nice. I like that one. I didn't watch the series, Napala. I just read the books. So I still didn't have the ending of Games of Thrones. Correct answer is there. Walang relationship. Wala kaming relationship, ma'am. Okay. So he bought a car. Okay. So that's the conclusion. So Jon Snow got a job. Therefore, Jon Snow earned the money. And if you earn the money, then Jon Snow bought a car. Also, pay attention to the structure, okay? Tignan mo yung letter B. We use didn't. Again, wag maging redundant, okay? Kaya, kahit past siya, hindi natin sinabing he didn't bought. Bakit? Dahil nandiyan na yung didn't. That indicates it's a past tense, okay? So, he didn't buy, okay? So... <laughs> Don't use like double past tense, okay? Now, correct answer is letter C. Let's proceed. Finding errors, girls, here you go. Paghahanap ng mali. I stayed in my parents' house this coming Christmas, which is the... Ay, sorry. Supposed to be... Meron talagang option and no error. But anyway, where is the error? Is it one, two, three, or four? Chat your answers. Ah, okay. Kasi kami, mom, after namin magka-job, meron kami money, hindi namin na-afford yung car. Same. Okay, so correct answer is, yes, I think this is pretty basic. So, bakit hindi tama yung stayed? Because stayed is past tense. Ipapalapit pa lang yung Pasko. So, I will stay in my parents' house this coming Christmas. Instead of, okay. So, I will stay this coming. Papalapit pa lang, meaning future tense. So, sa mga nag-aantay dyan ng jowa, papalapit pa lang sila, okay? You take your exam first. Oh. Wag mo nang mag-isip ng kung ano-anong walang kwentang bagay. <laughs> so, correct answer is, oh, lumabas na yung no error. <laughs> correct answer naman is uh, letter A. I will stay. Sorry about that one. So let's have word analogy. Blank is to dizzy as jump is to blank. I'm guessing this is... I will not try to tell you the relationship. Try to identify. Is it letter A, sprint and fall, spin and elevate, turn around and fall, or D, fall and sprint? So, yes, it's okay. You guys eat, okay? Yep. And you sleep early, especially during Saturday night. So you make sure na you're all prepared for what you're about to do. Remember, ah, you cannot live October 23, 2002 again. So isang beses lang siya mangyayari. So be sure that while you are there, uh, gawin mo na lang yung best mo, okay? Again, blank is to dizzy. Correct answer is yay. I'm sure you've met this one too. Correct answer is letter B, okay? So, ano ba yung sprint? I think it, it's a form of running, diba? ba? Will, will it make you dizzy? Actually, the relationship, he, the relationship here is cause and effect, diba? ba? So, if you sprint down, nahihilo ka ba? I don't think so. If you jump, do you fall? Not right away. So, the tendency is if we jump, we are elevated for a millisecond first, okay? So, correct answer dito is letter B. So, spin kapag, if you spin, okay, nahihilo ka, and then if you jump, you are elevated at a second, okay? So, correct answer B. Letter C, let us check. Turn around and you get dizzy. <laughs> I want to share this. Really, I was really fighting my gut na isulat yung total eclipse of the heart kasi turn around yung first one. So, turn around, it, it, if you turn around once, it doesn't mean na mahihilo ka na directly. If you jump, you don't fall directly. So, it's also not logical. Fall, dizzy, a letter D does not make sense at all. So, you can eliminate that one. Okay? So, correct answer is, okay, this is cause and effect. If you spin, you get dizzy. If you jump, you get elevated. Okay? Correct answer is letter B. Congratulations. 
Wow, pinaikot lang din niya ako. Ay. Let's have logical analysis. Oh, no, no. This is vocabulary, guys. The lecture was quite blank because the speaker did not explain much and we were left hanging. Is it clear, straightforward, implicit, or relevant? Chat your answers. Mm hmm. So God will provide. <laughs> it's okay. So let's see. Uh, I think I've talked about the implicit, explicit, illicit, yung straightforward yeah, words yesterday, diba? So anyway, correct answer is kapag nahihirapan sa options, you look for context clues, okay? So alin ba dito yung, you know, Context clues natin is, the speaker did not explain much, and then we were left hanging. Parang, ha? Huh? Yun na yun, diba? Tapos na siya. Or yun na yung explanation. Parang wala kami maintindihan. So, ibig sabihin, the lecture was not clear, diba? Kaya nga, hindi, kaya nga naging hanging sila. So, you can, kaya nga they were left hanging. So, you can remove um, option A. It's not clear. It was also not straightforward at lalong hindi relevant. Okay? So, even if you don't know what the word implicit means, you're still able to answer. Diba? Kasi ito na lang yung naiisang, or na, na, okay, nag-iisang, um, yeah, option that does not, yeah, does not oppose to the sentence. So, ibig sabihin ng implicit, guys, is it's not clear or vague or confusing. Okay, so vague or confusing or implicit. Sometimes it happens. Siguro, you know, when we attend a discussion, siguro yung lecturer yung may problema o yung marami, masyadong maraming laman ng utak natin. So wala tayong maintindihan. It happens to me a lot, you know. <laughs> so my boss gives a lot of <laughs> instructions. Na, oh, wala ako ng oh, kahit wala ako naintindihan. So it's, it means the instructions were implicit. Correct answer is letter C. Well done. I received, oh, antonym daw ng implicit, it's explicit. Ibig sabihin naman ng explicit, sobrang ganda ng explanation that you're able to understand well. Okay? There was a question here. Pwede ba daw sulatan yung uh, questionnaire? Um, yeah, ca can you, ca can anyone tell me about this one? I, I think, Kasi iba yung exam na natakan ko. I don't want to disclose anything that I'm not sure of. So, um, pwede bang sulatan yung... Yeah, can anyone answer this one? Yes. Oh, pwede daw. According to Ma'am Sweet Grace. Uh, according to Sir James, pwede daw po. It's the same. Congratulations. I will have another tip for you. But for now, let's proceed muna sa next question, okay? Okay, very easy. 50% chance of winning. Curiosity blank. Is it letter A, kill, or B, kills? Chat your answers. So, I was saying, okay, pwedeng sulatan yung questionnaires kasi binayaran daw natin yon Exactly. Now, here's my technique for you guys before you answer to the answer sheet. Answer your questionnaires first, okay? You can skip items, i-mark mo lang doon sa questionnaire mo. So for me, why was it parang the easiest way to do it is kapag may nasagutan ka na, you check the items. Sa PRC, bawal. Actually, hindi bawal, sir. When I took my board exam, sobrang dumi ng answers, ng questionnaire ko. Just the answer sheet. I treated it like my life kasi ang machine yung mag-check ng paper, di ba? But the questionnaire... Uh, yeah, I think we can write it. So, kapag nasagutan nyo na yung questionnaire, i-check nyo siya, okay? And then after it, bilangin nyo kung ilan yung check items nyo. Ibig sabihin, ilan yung sure na items nyo. So, you can already calculate, okay, ilan ba yung percentage na nasagutan ko ng tama. And then you decide on your own. So, as to me, it's what I did. At hindi nga ako nakalahate sa Items na sure ako that time. That was scary, really. So, correct answer is letter B. Yay! Curiosity. 
skills. Bakit? Anything abstract? Ano nga ulit yung abstract? Mga bagay or mga words na hindi nakikita o nahahawakan, just nararamdaman lang o nasa utak lang. So, abstract nouns always take the singular verbs, okay? Curiosity kills. Katulad ng love moves. Ah, love ulit. Sa love lang tayo babalik. <laughs> so, again, if it's an abstract noun, it, oh, it will always take the singular form of the verb, okay? So, respect is the greatest na 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 of love. Something like that, okay? So, there you go. Curiosity kills. Uh, Ma'am, what is hoax? If you say hoax, it's fake. Okay? It's fake or parang not necessarily a scam, but it's something fake. Uh, for example, kapag nakareceive ka ng hoax call, ibig sabihin machine lang yung tumawag sa'yo. Okay? It's a trick. Yeah. That's it. Something fake. Something like a trick or just a joke. Hoax. Ibig sabihin hindi seryoso. Okay? Singular ba ang plural? Abstract noun? Always singular. Okay? All good. Ma'am, ikaw po ba sa math? Naku po. Walang papasa sa inyo pag ako sa math. <laughs> it's not that. Okay, anyway, before I talk about that. So, chat the answers first. A group of, bo of boys was playing Mobile Legends. Is it A, B, C, or D? It's not that bobo ako sa math, okay? I'm fine. As I mentioned earlier, I just don't like structures. Even grammar, I don't like it. I just didn't have the choice, okay? Same with mathematics. So right now, nag-aaral naman din ako. Nag-aaral ulit kasi ako ngayon. And we have statistics. Yeah, I'm doing hindi sa... Nakakasagot naman ako. I just don't enjoy it talaga. Kaya I don't focus. Hindi po ako sa math. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Correct answer is... Oh my, nandito na tayo. Okay. The distractor was working. Let me call on those tama yung sagot. Mm -hmm. You have math pala no, sa fire officer examination. I think ang hirap-hirap ng exam nyo. Like you have to actually know what it's like on the field. ba? And you are, this profession is, as I was saying, the unsung heroes. Kasi it's very dangerous. Diba? But yeah, we're also proud of you. So correct answer is actually letter D. Guys, no error. Ano ba? <laughs> it's just a group. Okay, don't mind the boys. It's a group. They are considered as one. Kapag sasabihin natin two groups of boys, dyan na natin maa-apply yung were playing. Two groups of boys were playing. Pero dito, it's just a group. Always remember, we only use a kapag nag-iisa lang. Okay? A, a dog is... A girl, an apple. So a group of boys was playing. That's correct. Absolutely no error. Kapag sasabihin mong two groups of boys, dalawang grupo na, so we can say we're playing. Okay? Okay naman. So correct answer is letter D. It's okay. So, okay. Word analogy. Rural is to soil as urban is to, nandito na naman ako sa pronunciation. Letter A, prairie. Is that prairie? Letter B, pavement, C, store, or D, thicket. Thicket sa bus. I'm just joking. Chat your answers. What do you think? Mm, I see. So now someone is asking about the attire. I think it's pretty much the same for everyone. So wear white yung my color. Am I correct po ba? Can anyone help me? What to wear ba during this Sunday? 
Yung white na my color, de ba? <laughs> so, word analogy. Yes, everyone is answering the correct answer naman. Yes, white po with color. Exactly. How about the lower part po, sir? So, prepare. Ah. Like, I've heard someone, they were about to take the exam, tapos naghahanap pa sila ng puting may isusuot. Please, not like that, okay? On the day of the exam, make sure that your only focus is to find the correct answer. Huwag na yung iba't ibang gulo-gulo sa iyong buhay, okay? Make sure you have them all prepared beforehand, okay? So, bawal, of course, you have to wear formal, di ba? Bawal yung shorts, tattered jeans, but you already know that one. Correct answer is... Or, ang red underwear talaga, ano ba? <laughs> yeah, but it's the joke that we've been having. So, on Valentine's, if you wear something red, or if you wear red underwear, you'll be able to find your partner. That didn't work for me. But it worked on the board exam kasi pumasa ako. Walang mawawala kapag naniniwala ka. Eh, andun ka na naman, gawin mo na lang lahat, di ba? Correct answer dito is pavement. If you say pavement, it's like yung sidewalk na concrete. If you say prairie, basta. These prairie and thicket, they're all found. They can all be found in, still in rural areas. So yung boshe, bush, bushes, whatever that is. Yung flatland. So yeah, same with thicket. Prairie is like a flatland. So we don't, found, we don't usually find them in urban areas, right? What we find in urban areas are the pavements. There you go. So, oh, okay lang daw walang color as long as it is white. Okay. Another one, word analogy, horses is to coral as gold coins is to. Is it letter A, treasure, B, wealth, C, a rodeo, or D, vault? Chat your answers. Mm-hmm. Basta wag lang daw po ya, tattered. In fact, even if you're, if you go to anywhere na formal, for example, yeah, you have government transactions as much as possible. Yeah, wear something formal, okay? Mm -hmm. Correct answer is, right. Okay naman daw anything with the white. Pwede daw po ba yung Crocs? I'm so sorry. I want to answer this, all of these. I don't want to disclose kasi. You cannot teach what you don't know. So, I don't want to drop any information that I'm not sure of. Correct answer is... Oh my, nalilito na tayo. So, the problem here is, how do we identify? Pag hindi natin alam, anong ibig sabihin ng coral? Diba? Coral is, it's the same, if you're Visaya, it's the same meaning. It's like a gate kung saan naka-enclosed yung horses. Okay? Again, a coral is like a gate where the horses are being kept inside. So which option ba will work for the gold coins? As we all know, yes, gold coins, they are a treasure. They can cause us wealth. Rodeo is completely out of the topic. It's like a horse activity or an event. The only logical answer here is the vault. Okay? Because coral is where you kept the horses. Of course, the vault is where you kept or is where you keep the gold coins. Okay? So horses is to coral. As gold coins is to vault. There you go. That's the correct answer. So it's letter D. Well done. It's a place. Yes. So let's have logical analysis. If a car is out of gas, then it will not start. Arya's car is not out of gas. Therefore, letter A, her car will start. Letter B, her car will not start. Or let her see, car needs gas to start. Chat your answers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very well. Mm 
Mm. So it's pretty much the same pala sa PRC. So of course, you can bring your belongings naman and baon, phone. But during the exam, you will not keep your belongings somewhere near you. You will put it maybe in front of the room. So the proctor will be giving you instructions. Okay? And ano ba? Yep. Just take care of your answer sheets. Make sure na hindi sila madumihan. Okay? So, yeah. Bring enough food. Kumain kayo. But that's pretty normal. Of course. I'm not sure how, like, how the shading works kasi. Ano daw po kulay ng pants? Sirs and ma'ams. Yeah. <laughs> Tsaka yung water, if you bring, I don't have a nature spring kasi here. Tatanggalan yun ng ano, yung plastic kasi some, they, they can write the answers there. Or some can possibly cheat. And I am guessing, maybe you're not allowed to wear a smart watch. Yung smart watches na mga tao ngayon. It's uh, here, people in the office, yun yung suot nilang lahat. Ako lang yung naa out of place. Diba? Yung kinakover yung steps nila, where you can send messages. I think it's also not allowed. Okay? Of course, earphones, but that's 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 pretty common. Correct answer is... Okay. So, if a car is out of gas, it will not start naman. So, yung car ni area, it's not out of gas. So, her car will start. It's the only logical option right there. Okay? Alright, so according to Sir, sa last day daw ng inyong final coaching, you will have a discussion as to what to bring, what to do, what to prepare. So you can wait for that po, okay? I'm sorry, I could not answer directly. Gosh, useless. <laughs> now, let's have this one. Optics is to physics as dialectics is to. Is it letter A, diction, B, logic, C, dialogue, or D, grammar? Chat your answers. So again, in the last day of your final coaching, you will be having an orientation, anong kailangan i-prepare at anong isusuot. So makinig lang kayo for further updates, okay? Chat your answers. <laughs> wow, a lot are answering. Okay. Some of some of the distractors are working very well talaga. Let's see, let's see. So, if we say, sabi ni sir, focus muna tayo sa beauty ni ma'am. Walang beauty si ma'am. It's always funny kapag online ang aking lecture. No one can see you clearly. <laughs> Pero mabait naman ako for real life. At least. Correct answer is, if you say optics, that's like a branch of physics. Okay? So, how about dialectics? San ba siya na belong? So, yeah, deals with, yeah, genesis and propagation of light for optic, optics. If you say dialectics, guys, it's an intellectual investigation. Okay? Again, it's an intellectual investigation of a language. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, like... You are discuss, yeah, you ha you're having a discussion or a rationalization through a dialogue, okay? So you're having a very intelligent discussion. So does this mean ba na dialogue or diction agad siya directly? If you say dialectic, it is somewhat of a... Oh my gosh, if I use scholarly, mas lalong magiging complicated siya. So here na lang, you talk about reasoning or logical analysis. Or it's like, yeah, sabi dito nga intellectual investigation. But I would see na it's, it will be very complicated na. So anyway, that's it. It's a parang you are rationalizing. Okay. Or analyzing something. Analyzing a reason. Exactly. So thank you so much to those who answered. So finally, we're able to get to the point, di ba? As to me lang, ah, kung talagang hindi ko alam kung ano yung dialectics, I would have probably answered dialogue as well. 
'di ba? Kasi ano pang hahanapin mo eh daya daya na siya, 'di ba? But yeah, for your information, dialectics actually belongs to logic. Kasi you are having an intelligent discussion about reasoning. So, kini question, ina-analyze yung reasoning. That's why it's dialectics, okay? Or that's why it's logic. So, optics is to physics, is dialectics is to logic there. So, correct answer is letter B, everybody. Next one. Oh, I really like this one. So, you should not be part of the team if you don't have faith in your teammates, okay? So, what's the conclusion to this one? Letter A, you need your team in order to win. Possible. Letter B, your teammates are not trustworthy. Maybe. Letter C, teammates should trust each other. Possible. Letter D, you are better than your teammates. Possible then. Oh, what conclusion can be drawn from this one? And I would like to remind you guys, as I was saying earlier, na. It's not 100% that all of you are going to make it. So, habang hindi pa siya nangyayari. Failure kasi, I'm sure most of us have failed naman for most parts of our lives kahit na hindi exam. But if you fail in an exam kasi, people don't just suffer from failing. They suffer from people bringing them down. So, if you fail, hindi ka lang mafe-fail. People will also call you bobo. People will also bring you down. People will criticize you as well. So, I've had a lot of friends who did not make it to the board exam. And yung criticisms na na-receive nila, it's unbelievable. So, na-fail ka na nga, there will be people who will bring you down pa. Okay? And I'm not saying that those people matter or yung criticisms nila matter but for sure they will hurt you so well you're taking be very careful i'm not saying that you should please those people i'm just saying na of course words of others masasaktan din naman tayo kahit na isipin natin na they don't matter diba so be careful okay kaya nga same sa frog <laughs> yun lang if you fail you don't just fail people will criticize you as well so be careful okay i've had a lot of people waiting for me to fail yes so prove them wrong guys correct answer is letter c so here daw kasi you should not be part of the team if you don't have faith so letter a does not make sense you you need your team to win, it's also correct, but it does not reason to the statement, okay? Letter B, your teammates are not trustworthy, possible, since hindi mo sila, you're not trusting them, maybe they're not trustworthy, but it still does not reason out, bucket. you should not be part of the team, okay? So the only logical conclusion is that teammates should trust each other, kaya kasi nga team kayo. If you don't if you don't trust your teammate, wag ka na lang maging part ng team. Okay? If you don't trust your teammates, get out. If you don't trust, yeah. If you don't trust your partner, don't be in the relationship, diba? So, you should not be part of something that you don't trust kasi teammates should trust each other. Okay? Letter D as well, it's very selfish. You're better than your teammates. Possible. Kasi you don't have faith in them. Kasi pa, so possible na mas magaling ka pa. But it still does not reason out the statement, okay? So the only logical conclusion we can draw is that, okay, in order to be part of a team, teammates should trust each other, okay? Oh, I trust you, ma'am. <laughs> I trust you too. Okay, there you go. Correct answer is letter C. Well done. Let's proceed. Oh, I really like this one as well. Logical analysis. All writers are creative. Some writers are not famous. Now, Jenny is creative. So what conclusion can we draw from this one? Letter A, Jenny is a writer. B, all creative writers are famous. Letter C, Jenny is not famous. Or letter D, some creative writers are not famous. Okay, let me see the comments. 
Oh, oh yeah. So some of you are not first time takers, de ba? That's okay, actually, and I commend you for that, guys. Sobrang hirap nga magjoy the first time. When I took my board exam, I actually said to myself, "Siguro if I fail, ayoko na, hindi ko na kaya." But some of you here took second time, third time. That's so brave in it, de ba? Now even if people bring you down, sige lang, de ba? Wala na mang limit sa pagtake, so just keep going. That's very brave of you. So just in that action, I'm so proud because not everyone is willing to try it again when they fail the first time, de ba? So congratulations in advance. I've had a friend of the family. He failed six times in the let exam before he finally made it. And I know a lot of people who stopped trying in the third time. Kasi pag pangatlo na daw, talagang parang hindi na para sa'yo. Why would you decide na something is not for you? ba? Diba? Sumubo ka lang ng sumubo. Unless talagang tadhana na yung there are like divine interventions na nagsasabi na it's not for you. As long as it's still in your control, kung kaya mo pa naman mag-retake, then mag-retake ka lang. You know? Okay. Correct answer is yay! <laughs> so we're all confused with letter A. Bakit galit na galit ako sa statement? Correct answer. Oh, we're confused between letter A and letter D. So pay attention ah. All writers are creative, Dao. Some writers are not famous. Now, how Jenny? Jenny is creative. However, guys, you can be creative in many ways. Okay? Hindi naman ibig sabihin na creative ka na writer ka na kaagad. Some people are creative in what? Drawing, in painting, de ba? Hindi naman dito sinabi na all creative people are writers. Sinabi ba? All creative people are writers? Hindi, di ba? Just all writers are creative. That's a fact. Okay? So kapag sabi natin Jenny is creative, we cannot directly say that Jenny is a writer. Bakit? Baka yung pagka-creative niya sa painting yon, di ba? Hindi sa writing. So it's not letter A. Okay? Correct answer is letter D. And this is a fact. So some writers are creative, but they're not famous. Okay? Because nga all writers are creative. So some creative writers are not famous. This is okay. The only conclusion that we can, the only logical conclusion that we can draw. Okay. So again, find out what is implied. The correct answer is letter D. So again. We can directly say, de ba? Jenny is creative. Ah, ibig sabihin ba Jenny is a writer? She can be creative in a different manner. However, letter D here makes the exact sense. Now, yes, there are a lot of talented writers. They are creative, but they are not famous, de ba? There are a lot of very good people out there, but they are not recognized, de ba? So, the answer is letter D. Again, try to. Eliminate irrelevant options. Okay, so for example, C or B. That's why you are left with fifty percent na letter A or letter D, de ba? And you have to question letter A, and you also question letter D, and you see which one reasons out the best for you. Okay. Correct answer is. <clears throat> okay, paano daw pag only writers are creative. <laughs> yeah, then you can say na Jenny is a writer because only writers yung creative. Okay, that's how. That's also it's important that you have to know how to map the words, how to find the connections. Okay, correct answer is letter D. Next one. Mute is to blank as idle is to toil. Is it letter A talk? B silent, C noise, or D scream. So again, figure out the relationship of the other group or the other pair. Now, ang problema pag hindi natin maintindihan ano ba yung idol, ano ba yung toil. So how are we going to identify the relationship, po, ma'am? It's okay. You can try um, guessing. Is it synonym, antonym, descriptive, de ba? So, if hindi gumana yung ibang 
ibang strategy, yeah, try the other strategies. That's why nga you're reviewing it, so that you will have a lot of options. Oh, guessing game pa lang tao. <laughs> Is it the power of C po ba? So, correct answer is, oh, let me see if you will change your answer. If you say idol, guys, tamad. Hindi, walang trabaho, wala, wala lang, you know, chill lang sa buhay. If you say toil, very hardworking. So, this time, are you able to guess the relationship na ba? So, sobra mag-effort yung toil. Idol naman is tamad. So, have you guessed the relationship? We are looking for antonyms. Okay? Opposite. Opposite yung idol tsaka toil. So, anong opposite na mute? Yung silent lang. Okay. So, pwede natin i-remove sa letter B. Kasi si letter B, synonym siya, okay? Now we have A, C, or D. Scream here does not make sense at all. Okay? So hindi naman directly opposite ni mute si scream kaagad. Noise, there are many kinds of noise, okay? If you say mute kasi, like, you know, you just, you, you just don't talk at all. Or people who can't talk. So, opposite niya are those who talks. So, correct answer is letter A. Okay? So, again, mute is to talk as idle is to toil. So, they are the opposite. Again, if you don't know the words, try guessing the other words na iintindihan mo. Okay? So, noise. There are many different kinds of noise out there. Is it? Yeah, an animal noise, a machine's noise, it's not necessarily opposite to mute directly. So our logical answer here is talk. Okay, mute is the talk as idle is the toil. Next one. Huh. Valentine's Day is blank February 14. Is it on, at, at, is it in, on, at, or to? Chat your answers. Valentine's Day is blank February 14. So, correct answer is... Uh, nako, ma'am. Hindi na lang po kami attend <laughs> Yun nga sa... There, there are funny posts. I am standing blank the bus. On, in, at. Nako, maglalakad na lang ako. Okay. Correct answer is... Okay, very well. So, I think this is pretty much basic on Valentine's Day. Again, the easiest way to remember it, kapag in, it's generalized, okay? So, yung taon, months, seasons, weeks, yung mas malaki, yung scope, we use in. In 1999, in August, in February, Kapag on naman, mas specific siya. So, yung date or your day or yung day. So, on Friday, on Tuesday, on February 14, on December 25th. Yung at naman is yung sobrang specific na, sobrang liit na talaga ng scope niya. And that is the hour. So, at 1 o'clock this afternoon, for example. Okay? Sa lugar naman, it's the same. Kapag general siya, we use in. For example, cities or countries, di ba? In Japan, in the Philippines, in Cebu City. Kapag malaki siya, it's in, okay? Kapag mas specific, kapag street. Yeah, usually on lang siya kapag streets. So on main street. However, at is more specific. So at the airport. Mm-hmm. If there are names na, so we can possibly use at, okay? In vehicles naman, as I was saying, remember lang, kung nakakatayo ka, it's on. On the bus, on the train, on the plane. Kasi nakakalakad ka inside those places. If you are not able to stand up, always use in. Kasi nasa loob ka lang, okay? So in the car, in the taxi, in the tricycle, 
for example, okay? So correct answer is on. Yes, specific. Very well. Now let's proceed. Logical analysis. Jet's car did not start. This conclusion can be logically drawn from which statement? So hindi daw nag-start yung sasakyan ni Jet. Is it letter A? If a car has a dead battery, a car will not start. Jet's car's battery is dead. Letter B. Some functioning cars joined the race. Jet's car did not join. Letter C. Old cars rarely start. Jet's car is old. Or letter D. All of the above. So fighting, everyone. Oh, we have Muslim brothers. Hello, po. <laughs> okay, some are taking. Okay, that's very sweet of you guys. So we just encourage each other, diba? Yeah, very supportive. Anyway, correct answer is... Mm -hmm. Wow, so a lot are answering the correct answer. Yay, finally! So, of course, it's not all of the above. It's not letter D. So, for example, let's say letter C. Old cars rarely start. Jet's car is old. So, does that mean ba na Jet's car did not start na? Hindi na umanda rin sasakyan niya? Rarely lang naman. There's still a possibility na yung old cars, they can still run. Diba? So, it's not 100%. We can crash out letter C. Now, some functioning cars, yung mga umaanda na sakyanan, sasakyan, <laughs> sorry about the Visaya. So, yung mga umaanda na sasakyan, they joined the race. So, hindi daw sumali yung, so Jet's car did not join. Can we conclude ba na Jet's car did not start? Possible, pero some functioning cars lang naman, di ba? Meron namang mga sasakyang umaanda, they did not join the race. So, possibility, yeah, Jet's car can, can be one of them, di ba? Now, only letter A is the logical answer here. If a car has a dead battery, it will not start. Jet's car's battery is dead. Therefore, Jet's car did not start. Kasi stated na siya eh, na kapag dead battery, it will not start. Eh, yung sasakyan ni Jet, it has a dead battery. So we can conclude that Jet's car did not start. Okay? Correct answer is letter A. Yes. Oh my gosh. Your logical reasoning are really amazing, guys. Yay, I commend you for that already. I know it's too early yet, but I'm sure everyone you know and including us here in the group, we're so proud of you. Na. I really hope you make it. Okay? Do it for yourself. Now, word analogy, pleasure is to smile as pain is to. Is it letter A, aspirin, B, suffer, D, tranquil, or D, grimace? Chat your answers. Is it A, B, C, or D? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Manifesting. Oh, hello. Okay, Sir Robert. Okay, congratulations in advance. Alhamdulillah. Is this the, the I hope that's not disrespectful, ah. but hello to our Muslim brothers. Po. I hope you make it. You know, I also work with, I work in the office that I'm working now. I work with a lot of international people. Some of them are Persian and some of them are Muslims. And it's really fun. Yung iba Chinese, so they are Buddhist. Yung iba Japanese. I also have an American colleague, so iba iba kami dito, and we never disrespect each other's religion, and they respect my religion as well. That's really nice, inclusive, diba? So hello to our Muslim brothers. Yes, manifesting, you're gonna make it. So some, wow, some have taken okay four four times, five times. In fact, when I when I was getting my board exam, no, no, my license, may, nakila, may nakausap ako doon. Uh, she was a bit of a mature or adult na siya. She has been taking the board exam since 90s. Can you imagine? 
like when I ask since 90s pa siya nag-date, 2022 na ngayon. And she was like, ma'am, hindi ko na nga mabilang kung ilang beses akong nag-take. But she was still taking it, di ba? So, if, you know, if it's still beyond your control, then, yeah, do your best about it. Correct answer is, okay, ano ba yung aspirin? So, <laughs> it's gamot sa pain, but Kapag pleasure, you smile. So basically, what we're looking for here, we are describing the reaction. So if you feel pleasure, now for example, kumain ka ng favorite food mo, of course you smile. Or and ewan ko sa inyo kung anong pleasure for you guys. <laughs> now, how do we react to pain? So we suffer, but that's the feeling. It's not the reaction, de ba? Tranquil, it's it's actually like a, a calm, quiet environment, diba? So it's also not a response to pain. If you say grimace, here, it's your reaction, you know, like a physical reaction to pain. Kapag, for example, nasaktan kayo, natamaan kayo, or someone hit you, and you have that physical reaction, nasasaktan kayo, that's what we call the grimace. Okay? So, yung, yeah, facial reaction natin if we are disappointed, disgusted, or nasasaktan tayo. Okay? So, just out of nowhere, natamaan mo yung, let's say, the wall. So, how you react physically, that's grimace. Okay? Or kapag sinuntok ka out of nowhere and how you react in your facial expression, that's grimace. Okay? So, the same with kapag masaya tayo or we feel pleasure, we smile, di ba? If we feel the pain, so <laughs> we grimace. There you have it. Okay. So yeah, nagsasuffer din naman kapag nasasaktan. But it's different kasi sa pleasure and smile. Siguro if we say, if we say pleasure, happy, pain, suffer. That makes sense. Pero dito, pleasure is to smile. So, pain is to grimace. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung facial expression mo is nasasaktan siya. Hindi ka natutuwa. Now, okay, this is a really good story. Yeah. Uh, this is the last part. So, let's just have this one last time before I say goodbye. Anyway, guys, this is my last lecture. So, uh, this is my second day and my last lecture nga pala. So, let's just take on this one. A well-dressed young man entered a big textile. So, anyway, a well-dressed young man entered a shop. Now, dahil well-dressed siya, he was able to draw attention from the salespeople who expected na mayaman siya kasi maganda yung damit niya. And baka they were expecting malaki yung bibilhin kasi nga, Mayaman. So, anong ginawa ng people? He was shown to the superior varieties of suit lengths and saris. But after casually examining them, so hindi naman naging seryoso yung pagsha-shopping niya, so he kept on moving to the next section where ready goods were being made. So, wala talaga siyang pinili, di ba? He was just examining this specific customer. So, what happened was that the salespeople were doubting. Bibili ba talaga itong mayamang tao na ito or hindi? So the manager asked him what he wanted exactly. So tinagot niya is he wanted a courteous treatment. He explained that he had come to the same shop in yung hindi pang mayaman yung sinuot niya that morning and hindi siya pinansin. And his pride was hurt that time. So, kaya nga, bumalik siya, and he dressed well, hindi dahil bibili siya, but because he want to have a decent treatment. He left the store without making any purchase. So, that's for reading comprehension, okay? So, nasaktan lang yung pride niya, kaya. <laughs> so, to make the story short, bumili siya, uh, pumasok siya the same shop in the morning, pero 
hindi ganong disente yung suot niya at hindi siya pinansin. Nasaktan yung pride niya, bumalik siya, wearing something nice, and he got the attention that he wanted. Okay, kahit na wala naman siyang planong bumili. Question number one. The young man was well-dressed because, letter A, it was his habit to dress well, letter B, it was his wedding day, letter C, he wanted to meet the manager, or letter D, he wanted to impress the salespeople. Is it A, B, C, or D? What do you think? Like Sharon Cuneta daw. <laughs> that was really trending, no? Was that in? That was in Gucci, di ba? Hindi siya pinapasok, if I'm correct. Tapos pinapasok siya sa Louis Vuitton. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, those are luxury brands kasi. So, the salespeople there, just by looking at a person, they already know kung mayaman ba ito or hindi. Baka na-misjudge lang nila. Or I heard for some, you need a uh, reservation daw before you can enter those stores. Kaya, that's why. Okay, correct answer is, ano nga ulit yon? Skimming. Just get the main idea. So, yung ginawa kong pagbabasa, that was skimming, okay? Hindi na kailangan word by word, you know, talagang i-internalize mo, mauubos ang oras, oras mo. So, just skim. Look for the main idea. Correct answer is letter D. He wanted to, he wanted to impress the sales. Okay, he wanted to impress the salesman. Right, kaya siya naging well-dressed. Next one. The salesmen in the shop are de described as people who only pay attention to letter A, young men and women, letter B, pretty women, letter C, rich customer, or D, regular customers. Chat your answers. Wow. Alpha, alpha bravo. Charlie Delta. Nice. Complete yan from A to Z, diba? I read that one. <laughs> when I was in college kasi, I dated para siyang, ano yun? Diba merong ROTC with criminology students and they they have like a commander or something? Yeah. Kaya, nabasa ko yung from A to Z. Anyway, hindi kami nagkatuluyan. Hindi naman ako nalulungkot. <laughs> So, correct answer is letter C. Only They only paid attention to rich customers. Kaya nga hindi siya napansin nung hindi pa maganda yung kasuotan niya. Kasi they only pay attention sa mga mayayaman. Yung mga mukhang maka, nakaka-afford. Kaya nga ako, I feel so embarrassed every time I enter an Apple shop. Kasi ang hirap naman. Sobrang mahal ng mga bagay doon. di ba? Anyway. The manager asked the young man what he wanted because, uh, bakit siya tinanong ng manager? Is it letter A, he would give him exactly what he was looking for? Letter B, the salesman had drawn his attention to the indifferent attitude of the young man. So, bang taas naman. Letter C, he thought they could do more business that way. Or letter D, he thought the visitor was dissatisfied. Check your answers. Mm hmm. Yeah, walang paligoy ligoy, de ba? Only the rich people get the attention of the salesman. Exactly. Ah, you've experienced that one. <laughs> so correct answer is, oh, mom, have you tried a one-sided relationship? Nako, guys, if we're gonna talk about love, that's a completely different lecture. <laughs> Of course, gusto ko rin marinig, marinig yung ideas niyo about that. But anyway, so bakit ba the manager asked the young man what he wanted? It's because, correct answer here is letter A, okay? He would give him exactly what he was looking for. So kasi nga mukhang mayaman siya at madyadong natatagalan siya in casually examining the suits and the saris, di ba? So, kaya gusto ng manager na mas direct. Like, what do you want ba? Because he was planning that he would give him exactly. So, ibibigay na lang directly anong hinahanap para hindi na, yeah, ma-prolong yung paghahanap niya. So, it's letter A. Finally, the young man left without making any purchases because he, is it letter A, did not have money? 
Letter B, could not find any item that he wanted. Letter C, my, it's a long option. Maybe ito yung tamang sagot. Had only come to make a point about the indifferent attitude of the salesman towards casually dressed customers. Or letter D, decided to make the purchases later on. Correct answer is... <laughs> Ma'am, kailangan daw po munang kumanta. <laughs> Madidisappoint lang kayo. <laughs> you know, sa bahay, palagi ako. Here's the thing, I would like to tell you, ah, a speaking voice is completely 100% different from a singing voice. Yeah, so that's why. Uh, <laughs> wag naman sana. Okay, so correct answer is, tsaka hindi ko makaka-relate. Yung favorite songs ko are rock and old music. So, it's a no-no, di ba? So correct answer here is letter, let's letter C, oy. If you can see letter A did not have money, it was not stated there na wala siyang pera, letter B could not find any item of his choice, it was not also stated. So, decided to make the purchase later on. Hindi natin alam kung anong decision niya because it was also not stated. So, correct answer here is letter C. So, pumunta lang siya doon to make a point na yung mga salespeople, yung napapansin lang nila is yung mga magaganda yung kasuotan at yung mga mukhang mayaman. Okay. And how they yeah, treat those who are casually dressed customers. So sometimes it works, diba? The longer the the longer the option, it could be the possible answer. Okay. <laughs> Isang sweet child. Of, oh, guns and roses. Sweet child of mine. Nice. So anyway, that was it, guys. For the okay, grammar, word analogy. Ano ba ba Reading comprehension and logical analysis. And of course, victory loves preparation. So as much as you prepare, mas higher yung chances nyo in making it through. Thank you so much for staying with me. And thank you so much to sir, yeah, to the group of yeah, to the admins of this group for inviting me. I hope you all make it. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. Yung mga love questions, yeah. Wag na muna yung isipan yan, okay? So again, victory loves preparation. Prepare everything that you need. Surround yourself with good people. And of course, you pray that's the most important, okay? So thank you, guys. <laughs> I'll probably end it na so that you can rest as well. So God bless in your future uh, reviews. And God bless this Sunday, okay? So just pray, reach out to him. Thank you. Walang kakanta po, sir. Thank you so much. Have a good evening, everyone. Eat your dinner. Bye bye. The PowerPoint, I will upload them. Okay, download ko muna from Canva. Give me time. Bye. <laughs>